Hello and welcome to 24 Reasons to be Cheerful with Inspiration for Life. I'm Paul Evans and I'm an artist and I specialise in creative public engagement. I, I enjoy making university research stimulating, fun and accessible through, through art. Um, I like to open up these, these ideas, maybe some of these complex ideas um, to interpretation and, and celebration. And today I'd like to share one of the techniques that I use to help break the ice at my workshops. And the technique is called exquisite corpse, which doesn't really sound very nice. So you could uh, perhaps call it picture consequences if, if that sounds a little bit better. But do remember the pictures have consequences, folks. So, Exquisite Corpse was invented by the Surrealists, a group of artists that were operating, um, you know, the first, first couple of uh, decades of the 19th century. And uh, they were very interested in the internal workings of the mind. Um, and I think that they used these techniques to kind of draw some of those internal workings out. And Exquisite Corpse is based on a game called Consequences, where the player writes a word down, folds that sheet of paper, hands it to the next player, who then writes something down on that sheet of paper, folds it and hands it back and so on. And the name Exquisite Corpse is actually derived from the phrase, the exquisite corpse shall drink new, the new wine. The exquisite corpse shall drink the new wine, which is uh, the phrase that emerged when the Surrealists played this game for the first time. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of combine exquisite corpse with secret Santa. Okay, so what you'll need to begin with is you'll need a sheet of paper that has been folded into three. And the easy way to do this is to kind of like fold it down the middle like that. And you can use that as a guideline to make your crease to make this nice threefold concertina sheet of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this to my able assistant over here on my right and uh, my assistant will draw Santa's head. Very good, that was very quick. <laughs> right, okay, so as you, as you can see, right, if we fold this kind of back a bit, um, my assistant has left, well, continued the marks from from her drawing into the middle panel so that the next person can continue that drawing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold that back and then pass it to my other assistant who's going to continue the drawing in that middle panel of Santa's body. Okay, so I'll hand that over. Okay, and as we can see very quickly um, my other assistant has managed to make this rather, rather, rather interesting drawing of, of Santa's body. And um, my assistant will make sure that these lines continue into the bottom panel so that so the next person can um, continue the drawing of Santa's legs. So I'll just hand, hand this back to my, my, my first assistant. Okay, then my first assistant has kind of made it round the room and, uh, and she's completed the drawing by drawing Santa's legs. And here we have our fantastic, exquisite corpse, Secret Santa. All right, so what I'm hoping is that we get some sort of reaction like this from this exercise. Um, this is a young person that. Uh, took part in, in one of my workshops uh, earlier in the year. And um, as you can see, we, we, we got a great reaction. Um, something I really miss is working with young people, obviously in, the, in, 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 in these difficult times, that, that's just not possible, but let's hope that uh, things improve um, in 2021 as soon as possible and we can get back to work as usual. So please do check out the link to uh, the charity below to uh, Inspiration for Life. And thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me today. And uh, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Cheers. Bye-bye.